So does anyone ever remember how weird they were when they were a child? I think everyone does. So I'm just assuming that watching this now you're thinking about some ridiculous time when you were little and I don't know what era you were from or maybe you used to wear leg warmers and fluorescent leggings and God knows what else, big hair or whatever. That was a cool time. Unfortunately, I wasn't born back then, but it sounded like a cool time. I respect y'all who were born 80s, I'm thinking, 70s maybe. Anyway, when you think about the weird things that you were, what you did when you were a child, you kind of feel bad for yourself. For example, I thought I was really old, you know, when I was in grade one or grade two. Um, and if you're from America or from somewhere else and you're watching this um, in primary school, I don't know if this is the same with you, uh, you start off in grade prep, that's your very first year of primary school and you're about five or six. And then grade one and grade two is obviously, you know, self-explanatory. But yes, when I was in grade two, I thought I was really old and I had a little grade prep buddy that I had to look after. And I went to a Catholic school, so I used to have to walk to church uh, every couple of weeks or so. And obviously the road is kind of next to you while you walk down the street because it was only like three houses down the church. And my little buddy was always on my right, and I'd always say to her, you know, little girl, whatever, make sure that you stand on my right side, don't stand on my left, because, you know, a car could hit you, or I'll protect you by standing closer to the side, to the road. What? Why? I, I don't know. Seriously, like, I'm pretty sure if a car came spinning off the curb and decided to hit the pavement that it was going to hit me and then I'm probably smack into that grade prep that was sitting next to me and she'd just, you know, have the same damage except she'll have a body as well sliding against her. So, you know, it's just not... But, you know, I wanted to seem old so I was protecting my little grade prep. I actually also used to think I was pretty special. Uh, I got detention once in primary school and I sat there and I was crying and I'm thinking to myself, I'm special, these things can't happen to me, you know, I see people having problems all over the world and all these people like, you know, getting detention, getting into trouble by teachers, but that can't be me, that happens to other people, I'm special, you know, why is this happening, you know, you know, and I think most kids think that as well, it's kind of like believing in Santa, believing in some kind of bubble that you're in and nothing can happen to you. Then when I realised that things actually could happen to me, I was actually really scared. In fact, one of my family friends had pneumonia. And I knew that pneumonia was because of the cold. Something about the cold. The cold had something to do with it. So I practically would not go outside because I thought that if I was outside in the cold, I was going to die from pneumonia. And then I was really worried about appendix. I used to watch that movie Madeline and there's an episode of Madeline and I don't know if it's in the movie when she's actually human, you know, the movie that they made or if it's in the little cartoon, um, the animation of when she gets her appendix out and she's got a hospital and she showed all the, all the people her appendix once it got cut out and I'm thinking, oh my god, it got cut out and I realised it was on the right side of your stomach so I would not sleep on the right side of my stomach for a long time, I would always sleep on my left side just because somehow I thought that sleeping on the right side could press it and make it burst or something. I don't know. And then there was the bird flu. That was when I was about eight. And the bird flu was, you know, everywhere. It was big as like the swine flu was almost, almost, except it wasn't really, you know, in Australia, so it wasn't really a big thing in Australia. Um, a friend of mine told me that if you ate chicken, you would get the bird flu, because that's where it came from. So I wouldn't eat chicken. I would go to parties, I would be at home, and every single time I got served chicken, I wouldn't eat it, because I'd be scared about eating it and then dying of the bird flu. Now, kids are just weird. I just, I don't understand them really. I don't know if you do this all the time, but when you look at um, videos of when you were a kid, you think to yourself, like, that wasn't a different person. That was you. You were that small once. You were saying those things, and I'm just thinking to myself, wow. I was standing there. It's kind of like inception. It's like, oh my god, all these things are happening within my life that I do not know. It's like a dream happening in a dream. 
kind of, I don't, that doesn't, no, I don't know. I don't know if you thought of any weird things or did any weird things when you were a child, but I'd actually like to know, so post a video response or comment or something, because it's, children are interesting. Bye.